What the heck happened here? This is in Schaumburg of all places. Out on the east side toward Woodfield Mall. What happened to this Coles here? Well, they moved. They moved closer to the mall. So, <laughs> so they didn't leave Schaumburg. In fact, there's even another Coles on the west side of Schaumburg. I think it's on Barrington Road. So, yeah, nothing leaves Schaumburg unless, like, Schaumburg's dying, which it's far from it. But as you can see, an H Mart is coming soon, which that is an Asian grocery store. So they scoop this up pretty quickly. Let's go see what's left in here of this Kohl's that abandoned this location. You don't see this too often. No siree. I think the only other abandoned Kohl's I did was at Charlestown Mall, but that's not a surprise. Because we all know what's going on with Charlestown. So this is only my second abandoned Kohl's that I've done. Very interesting. So this is going to turn into an Asian grocery store. See now this kind, now this, of course you know Schaumburg is far from being in the middle of nowhere, but this shopping center does kind of sit a little far away from what is the main retail corridor around the Woodfield Mall. And I've done videos over here in the past of a uh, Barnes & Noble, which moved toward Woodfield Mall. And then, well, I did a Fuddruckers, but that completely shut down. See, I think all we're going to get is my reflection if I look through those other windows. Wow. Step back before they start tearing this out. This used to be what your Coles looked like in, at Woodfield. This is what Coles used to look like. I wonder if they like have a smaller store. I didn't drive by the other Coles. But here we go. Got a village permit issued August 3rd of 23 and it expires later on in a few months. So, so pretty soon this is gonna happen here. They're not just blowing smoke. In fact, there's like pallets and stuff in here. But there's still a lot of stuff left from Kohl's. It's like they're starting to strip that floor out. They're starting to strip that floor out. Yeah, these windows are better on the sides here. So this is like a very typical Kohl's location in the Chicago area. It's a one story, double uh, entrances and exits. The one by my, well, the one at Fox Valley, there's two by my house, house, but the one by Fox Valley is two stories. Although it is set up like this, but over two floors. It originally was a main street. And then, there, and then, then the one in Oswego sort of looks like this one here, where it's one floor, one in Batavia. Um, where else is there one that I know of? Uh, South Elgin, Joliet, you know. So anyway, it's rare that you're going to ever hear me say this. I said it only once before, but an abandoned Coles. But it moved, though. Now the other one that I did in St. Charles, it was a dying mall, and it was too close to the uh, one in Batavia. And I have a feeling I'm probably going to be doing another one as well. I'm kind of afraid that the Spring Hill one's probably going to close at some point. Of course, if that happens, I will be keeping you up to date by doing videos of it. 
All right, so from this abandoned Kohl's here in Schaumburg, yeah, in Schaumburg, but it moved. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, please, for a lot more content to come. Make sure that you like, com comment, share these videos, please. God bless you. Continue shopping your local businesses. Continue shopping your local mall. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome.